Do you want to learn how to make an Arduino Omega based HMI system using 7 inch TFT LCD touchscreen? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end. This is an introductory video in which we will be controlling an LED and display the on time of controller in seconds. While in the upcoming tutorials we will be displaying number 1 the census data on this screen. Number 2 we will be interfacing a GPS module for displaying the longitude and latitude values on a small map. Number 3 we will be controlling multiple loads. Number 4 we will be displaying images on this screen using an RFID system. Number 5 we will also be using this with a fingerprint module for making a voting system and so on. I'll be using this touch screen and so many other projects so subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. So let's get started. For this project we will be needing the following components. Number 1 7 inch TFT LCD touch screen. Number 2 ITD B02 Arduino Mega Shield 2.1 Number 3 Mega Board Number 4 and LED Longer leg is the anode and shorter leg is the cathode and Number 5 330 Ohm Resistor I will provide links in the description if you want to purchase the components used in this project. As you can see this shield has no male or female headers for interfacing other components. So for this project I decided to solder two jumper wires with pin number 13 and ground. So as you can see I soldered two jumper wires and I will use these jumper wires to control an LED. Insert LED into the breadboard. Now connect a 330 ohm resistor in series with the LED on the inode side. Now connect the blue wire which is coming from pin number 13 of the shield with the resistor and connect the black wire with the cathode of the LED. So now the interfacing is completed and now let's start the programming. This is a very basic program written for a 7 inch TFT LCD touchscreen. The purpose of this program is to make one button to control an LED and display the on time of the controller in seconds. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download the necessary libraries needed for this project. You can easily download these libraries from GitHub. After downloading the libraries, then simply copy the folders and paste them into the Arduino's library folder. Let me show you the folder. Click on Documents, then the Arduino folder, Libraries. And now over here you can see these three folders, the UTFT, UTFT underscore buttons and the UTouch. Now let's first of all open the UTFT folder. Then click on the documentations and now open the UTFT PDF file. Now this PDF file consists of all the functions. So let's first of all start with the alignment. 
So the left, right, and center, th these parameters can be used with these functions, the print function, the print num i function, and the print num f function. Then there is a function about the orientation, which is used with the init LCD, and it can be portrait or landscape. So these are the functions that we'll be using today in this episode. Then the VGA colors, these are the default colors and can be used with these functions, the set color and the set big colors then there is a display model and then the fonts we'll be using the small fonts and the big fonts and uh, the seven segment font now these are other functions the init LCD the orientation and the default one is the landscape so initialize the LCD and set display orientation now this function is used a get display x size function so this function is used to get the width of the screen and the current orientation currently I'm not using these two functions so and uh, I will be using uh, this function the clear screen so clear the screen the background color will be set to black and then the, I'll be using uh, the set color function which takes the RGB values and uh, set color function you can also draw lines and you can draw a rectangle but we'll be using draw round rectangle for creating a button on the touch screen so draw a rectangle with slightly rounded corners between two points so the x1 x y1 x2 and y2 these are the coordinates as you can see over here these are the parameters and this way it is used my my glcd dot uh, draw round rectangle zero zero and these are the coordinates so So it consists of all the functions uh, which you need and the rest of the functions we will be using in the upcoming tutorials. So once you see these functions then the rest of the programming is very easy and uh, other folders also contains the documentation files. So now we start with the hash include utouch dot h which is a header file hash include utouch cd dot h and then there is the orientation which we discussed in the PDF file and then utft underscore buttons and utft dot h now these are the fonts I will provide a link in the description from here you can download this code and then there is a variable and this will be used as a flag so button one on and uh, button one off like for example we will use this to to uh, store the status of a button whether it is pressed whether it is on or off so integer x y these two variables will be used for the x axis and y axis values and then there's a integer LED is equal to 13 so as we are planning to control an LED which is connected with pin 13 of the mega and uh, then these instructions actually currently we're not using this we'll be using this and in the upcoming tutorials then uh, variables for displaying seconds interval interval is uh, how long we wait and constant if this should never change so the uh, in integer interval is equal to one in seconds so the interval is set to one second if you want you can change this interval unsigned long previous mills is equal to zero then the in integer previous seconds and then the integer the current seconds so these two will be used for setting the color then utft my glcd itdb 50 38 39 14 41 these are the pins and remember to change the model parameters to suit your display model so you touch my touch that is a six five four three two one these are pin numbers and uh, finally we, s we set up the utft underscore buttons now why draw button this is a function and why it means that this function is not returning any value and as you can see the uh, parentheses are empty so it means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input so this function will be used for making a button so my glcd dot set color which i showed you in the pdf file these are the colors and we can also use a default colors uh, uh, you can check the default colors in the pdf file in vj color section and my glcd dot fill round rectangle uh, and then uh, set color and then the draw round rectangle 
draw a rectangle with a slightly rounded corners uh, and the parameters are x1 y1 x2 and y2 then uh, print a string at the specified coordinates so my glcd dot print on and these are the coordinates my glcd dot set bake color uh, for the rgb colors and uh, my touch dot set precision the precision is medium the information about the set precision function is available in a utouch pdf file so the other parameters can be precision low precision high and precision extreme so as you know my friends that every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup function and the white loop function. So first of all we start with the white setup function. As you can see it has uh, a wide. So white means that this function is not returning any value and again the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Integer LED is equal to 13 and uh, serial dot begin 9600 which is a communication speed it is in case if you want to send uh, information to a serial monitor as well and then the pin mode LG and output pin mode is a function which takes two arguments is the input which is the the pin number or the pin name which is the LG and the status which can be output or input so as the LG is an output device so that's why it's set to output then in initial setup my glcd dot init lcd my glcd dot then first we clear the screen and my touch dot init touch we activate the touch and then my touch dot set position which is position to the medium and um, as i told you that the information about the set position function is available in you touch pdf file so the other parameters can be precision low precision high and precision extreme so my glcd dot set font big font and then my glcd dot set big color this is just uh, the color and then we uh, call that function the draw buttons to create a button and then starts a wide loop again this wide loop it has also a wide which means that this is not turning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments is the input then while true so over here you can see if uh, my touch dot data available if screen is touched then my touch dot read we read the touch and uh, then we store the x values and the y values so x is equal to my touch dot get x read the x axis value and store it in a variable x and y is equal to my touch dot get y function read the y axis value and store it in a variable y if x is greater than or equal to 90 and x is less than or equal to 220 and y is greater than or equal to 180 and y is less than 230 and the button one on is equal to, equal to 0 which was uh, set to 0 and uh, then uh, wait for this and then these are just the colors and then so if the button is, uh, is, is pressed so it means right off on the button and then again the color and then we send a serial dot print line on to the serial monitor and digital write LED high and then the, we change the status of the button from 0 to 1 and then we make the X variable and the Y variable equal to 0 then there is a delay of 1000 then, then we check again if the button is pressed and uh, as you can see over here the button 1 on is equal is equal to 1 as we set it to 1 and then again there are some colors and uh, this time we write on on the button as you can see on and the 115 and 119 are the coordinates and uh, we send off to serial monitor and digital write LED low and uh, button one on is equal to again we set it to zero and uh, we make x uh, variables and y variables equal to zero and th there is a delay of 1000 get a snapshot of time unsigned long current mills is equal to the mills function so current seconds is equal to current mills divided by 1000 dividing by 1000 we get one second as 1000 milliseconds equal to one second if unsigned long current seconds minus previous seconds greater than or equal to interval which was sent to one second so it's time to do something my glcd dot set. again we only set the colors and then we select the fonts at the seven segment font and so number will be displayed in the in the seven segment display style my glcd dot print num i current sec current seconds center and 300 so 
coordinates at which the seconds will be displayed right chord uh, here for anything you want to control so on a timely basis so the previous seconds is equal to the current second and uh, then again we set some colors and we print electronic clinic uh, at these coordinates and uh, this is the weight function again they are just uh, colors and uh, that's it so is we are done with the programming now first of all click on the verify button to check for any errors Now connect Mega with computer or laptop and make sure that the right board is selected and the right COM port is selected. Now click on the upload button and wait for a while. I hope you liked this episode, like and share this video with your friends, see you in next episode and thanks for watching.